Hey, I'm Jonathan. I'm Jeremy. And I'm Brandon. Today, we're in the Gem General Chemistry Lab in the Shuford Science Building, Salisbury, North Carolina, and we'll be explaining the, the chemistry behind silly putty. Class, let me tell you what polymerization is. Polymerization is any process in which relatively small molecules called monomers combine chemically to produce a very large chain-like or network-like molecule called a polymer. The monomer molecules may be all alike or they may represent two, three, or more different compounds. Usually at least 100 monomer molecules must be combined to make a product that has certain unique physical properties such as elasticity, high tensile strength, or the ability to form fibrous that differentiate polymers from substances composed of smaller and simpler molecules. Brandon, my man Brandon, what's up? What's up, man? Can you help me elaborate on what makes a polymer? Well, oftentimes, many thousands of monomer units are incorporated in a single molecule of a polymer. The formation of stable covalent chemical bonds between the monomers sets polymerization apart from other processes, such as crystallization, in which large numbers of molecules aggregate under the influence of weak intermolecular forces. To reiterate what Jonathan said, you have two monomers, one with the hydrogen and one with the hydroxide, which lose the hydrogen and the hydroxide to form a polymer. In addition to what Brandon and Jonathan were saying, uh, there are actually two classes of polymerization. They, and uh, they are the condensation polymerization, which in each step of the process is accompanied by the formation of a molecule of some simple compound, often water. And the other class is called an addition polymerization, uh, where monomers react to form a polymer without the formation of a byproduct. So in addition polymerizations, they usually are carried out in the presence of catalyst. Boy, that's wrong, Brandon. Good, good, good. Now, what uh, Brandon is drawing here is actually our reaction, our simplified version of our reaction. We're making, we're going to have two polymers connect or react to form a larger polymer. So. All right, what we have here, this would be one polymer. This would be the other polymer. This is simply our glue. And then our uh, reactant, our catalyst is gonna be borax, which is the nice Dasani laundry detergent. And it's gonna be our chemical reaction. So let's go ahead and figure it out there. This one getting started. In addition to what I was saying, uh, we are now making our polymerization reaction. So what we have here is your Elmer's glue, which is going to be our polymer, and we're going to have our Dasani brand detergent, which is going to be our borax. Now, uh, to make silly putty, which is a polymer, you're going to take a little bit of your borax, which is going to be your reacting agent, and take a little bit of it and pour it into the glue. Now once that happens, you're going to start mixing the borax with the glue. As you mix it, you'll see that the, uh, the glue starts clumping up together, just like it would be in Silly Putty, as you can see. Now you keep mixing this until you get uh, it all clumped together and it's not as watery. That'll take me a little bit here. Now it's not going to be perfect because you got to be able to get the right solution or the right amount of borax with the right amount of glue for it to be perfect. But as you can see right here, Keep going a little longer. <laughs> we got silly putty. And that's our polymer rosation reaction. All right, and our chemical experiment and method and our understanding of polymerization came from chemistrylife.org and scienceexperiments.com.